today's walk around is this brand new interboat Intender 700 that has just arrived from the factory in Holland. Um, the boat is uh, in this shadow, you might not be able to see. I just want to confirm the colour. Uh, it's finished with a blue black hull. So it almost looks black, but actually, if you see it in the, in the bright sunlight, you will see that it's got a, a hint of blue in it. Uh, it's finished with the um, pudding on the rope fendering. That's the thicker section at the front. We've got all the canopies folded down, but I can show you pictures uh, in the video. Uh, of how the boat looks when its spray hood is up. That's the forward section. And then it has a tonneau cover, which slopes down to the rear when you put the boat back on the mooring. In terms of canopies as well, the boat's finished off with um, a bimini. So that gives you shade on a sunny day. So I've just stepped down into the boat because probably one of the, the main features of the Intender range uh, is this fantastic transom they have at the rear, which is sort of, A, it can turn into a sunbed, and I can show you that in a moment, but also that's a great place to sit while the boat is underway. You can have two or three people sat there whilst you're underway, uh, and that's really good fun and very social um, if you've got the person uh, or people sat here driving the boat. So it makes the whole rear section of the boat very, very friendly. The other thing that's really useful about this rear section here on hot sunny days, if you've got family, uh, younger family members that all want to be playing around in the water, you can use this area as a sort of wet area so they can have all their towels and be jumping in and out of the water, coming back on the swim platform. Um, and they're not actually clambering over and coming back into the main part of the boat. So it works very well. Now you might want to drop anchor and be out somewhere on a sunny day. That works really well. This particular boat has been finished off with the quilted stitching uh, on the back seats all the way around the boat. Um, that is a factory option that's available uh, and it's also been finished off with this nice contrasting piping on there. Other extras included are this teak table. So it's various options. If you set it up like that, it makes a great dining area on this boat. Alternatively, once the leaves fold in, uh, the tabletop is removable, goes in down to the side locker and the pole comes up and then you've just got a completely open boat. I've taken a couple of the cushion sets out just to explain uh, that under these seat bases you've got storage. Uh, that is quite deep. As you lift down the hull, that goes down into the, into the sides of the boat. That forward section as well is an insulated space and you'll see it's got cold blocks in there. Um, and that is a good place if you bring a cold bag on board with your picnic, you can tuck it in there and that'll all keep a little bit cooler. Um, and then up on the forward deck, you've got an anchor locker there. The storage is repeated around uh, on the starboard side as well. I've just got the cushion out there to show you. And then you have these two midships lockers, one each side. Um, and again, they've, there's one over on that side. Uh, plenty of cup holders. On top of the engine box, you get a further area of storage. That section lifts up, it's one of our cleaning cloths in there. But the point of that is if you're out on a day and you've got things like phones and iPads to tuck away out of the sun or the rain, that's a really useful space. So earlier in the video, I was talking about the flexibility of this rear area. Uh, this rear bolster, all those three bolster sections are removable. So if you're anchored up or you're on a mooring and you just want to use that as a sunbed area, all of those come out and then you've got that. Um, sun deck there. Alternatively, if you just want to elevate the driving position a bit, that centre section flips down and then if you can imagine I'm going to sit on it and look forward, what that does is give me a slightly elevated driving position while I'm driving the boat. While I'm here at the helm I'll run you through everything uh, that you get on the boat. This particular one has been spec with a bow thruster, otherwise the instrumentation is very simple. Fuel gauge, rev counter, volts um, and your throttle over on the side. Just coming around onto the side of that uh, helm pedestal that I showed you, uh, worth mentioning you've got your controls there, such so as your navigation lights and your cockpit lights, and then also underneath uh, USB is obviously very important to all of us these days. You've got a double USB in there as well as a conventional 12 volt output. That's the end of the walk round on this Intender 700. This particular boat's actually uh, in stock. It's just arrived with us uh, on Friday uh, and it's available for viewings. Alternatively, uh, if you want to spec a boat to, um, with all your own colour choices, um, I'll put a link in the description for your configurator, but also you can contact us through our website with any questions.